What is going on vegan and food explorers? Today we have got a review of the Flora Lighter Butter. Let's get into it. So I wanted to do a review of this product because on one of my previous videos, which is Flora Plant Butter, I didn't test the spreadability. I know. So we're going to be doing this product and we're going to test everything. We're going to test it the smell, the spreadability, everything. It's going to be great. So why do I use Flora Natural Ingredients Lighter? Well, I use this because it's actually much lower fat than the, um, than, than the plant butter. The plant butter actually has got 79 grams of fat, something around that, 79 grams. And this has got, per 100 grams, 28 grams of fat, which is absolutely insane. Um, and I think, which we'll get onto, the taste doesn't, still amazing. So, bit of history, um, Flora is actually owned by Upfield, and Upfield are a really cool brand, actually. They were, originally, they were owned by Unilever, the massive company, and they were sold off. And then now, make some really fantastic products, such as Flora, they also make a whole nother, um, number of plant butters, creams, and they also own Viralife. So they are making some epic vegan products. So. 100% we want to support Upfield and we want to support Flora. So let's get on to it. Also, this costs £2.50 per 400 gram pot, whereas the plant butter um, costs £3.60, that's from Sainsbury's, and they are both 100% vegan, vegan certified. So this to me is the, is the winner here. The plant butter is delicious. And I'm a bit confused about the skews of them. I kind of feel like the, the, they're, they're quite, it's strange because I suddenly thought, oh, like, oh man, is this not vegan? But it is 100% vegan. So let's open it up. Pretty good price. And you just look at that. It just looks great. Looks absolutely great in there. Totally, you know, um, yeah, it just looks like butter. Has the smell of butter. Yeah, it has the kind of consistency. So I'm going to put, I've got one special little bit of toast here. I'm going to make it. I'm going to spread it and see how it melts. We are fresh out of the toaster. Let's go. I'm gonna get this. This is kind of like a laboratory test. Nice, very neat bit of bread. A bit of sourdough, I think this is. So yeah, you can see. What I like about this butter is you don't need to get like loads of it. I always hate when the butter, you know, it just melts, either, either melts immediately and gets sucked into all these holes, but like you go like that and it's all here, or you get a slab like this and you go like that and it just breaks up and you just get one solid bit there, one solid bit there, there, not good. This, super easy, look, you can easily get it to the edge, super smooth, that is a really good amount. Quite impressed with that actually. I've not, I've not looked as in detail at spreading bread in quite a while, so I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, so you can use a little bit, but the question is that is kind of, I would say that's a low to medium amount of butter Let's see, does it pass the taste test? Just before we take our first bite, the ingredients of this are quite interesting. So it is predominantly um, made with vegetable oils. So it's made with rapeseed, sunflower and linseed. Then it's got some coconut fat and then a number of other, other different things. So it's pretty good. One of the key bits that I think is quite interesting on here is does not contain palm oil. So it's palm oil free. It's not, it's sustainable plant oil guys. It's palm oil free, which I think is pretty cool to be honest, because yeah, if you read into the whole plant plant oil fiasco, it's it's pretty crazy to be honest. So I think that's pretty cool. And it's got the sign natural ingredients, which we always like. So come on, enough chat. Right, let's go. Delicious. You can see as well where this is really melted and died, gone straight into the bread there. Very, very impressive. And then this is kind of stayed it's melted just on the kind of first layer but then it stayed solid on the top layer really really high-end butter i would say there or vegan butter so yeah <laughs> i will say it's not as creamy as the plant butter it, it, it isn't and i mean that's because it's got uh, about a third of the amount of fat in it in, in my opinion that that must be why it is that is like unbelievably creamy but this it's still very, very creamy. And this for like an everyday butter, you can't go wrong with it. It's great, great price. Um, you know, absolutely awesome, 100% vegan, 
still got the taste, got the versatility as well. So it's not a total melt fest and it's not total hard. Keep it in the fridge and it, it lasts really, really well as well. So that's my review. This is an absolutely top performer. It should be a staple of every vegan's cupboard. Um, and yeah, it also works really well um, on different sorts of bread. Um, and also if you're applying like Marmite, different things like that, it doesn't totally strip it off. It m blends really, really well. So Flora, Lighter, it's an absolute winner. Thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.